Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one very important topic that is HDLC. And the various topics that we are going to cover today are the first one is introduction on HDLC that is the details about the HDLC. After that we will discuss about the primary and the secondary stations. Then third we will discuss about HDLC frame format. Then after that we will discuss about various transfer modes in HDLC that is asynchronous response mode that is the normal response mode. Then after that we will discuss about asynchronous balanced mode that is ABM. So let's move to our first slide that is the introduction and the detail about the HDLC. HDLC stands for high level data link control. This is the full form of HDLC that is the high level data link control. How it is working and what is the main advantage of HDLC we will study further. So the second point is it is a bit oriented transmission protocol. HDLC is a bit transmission, bit oriented transmission protocol. Then after that on which layer of OSI model actually HDLC works is layer number 2 that is data link layer that is why its name is like high level data link control it works at a data link layer which is second layer layer 2 of osi 7 layered structured model for data communication in a network then the third point is it embeds information in a data frame that allows devices to control the data flow and correct errors it means that this is enabled and it is very helpful to control the flow of the data and correct the errors it will have the redundancy check controls then after that who proposed the hdlc hdlc is proposed by ibm actually in 1970s from stlc that is synchronous data link control standard then the last point under hdlc is Sessions are created for communication purpose in it. And this is code transparent control. So let's move to our second slide. The next slide which is having the detail about primary and secondary stations. So what are the primary stations? The one who sends the commands that is called as a primary station. Data link management and connection disconnection are the basic responsibilities of this primary station. The sender is mostly called as primary station which always sends the commands. We can say that the frames issued by the primary station are called as commands. Then the second is secondary station. These are the stations which responses and frames issued by the secondary stations are called as responses. It means that the one station which is on the sender side that is called as the primary station and the one which is on the receiver's side that is called as the secondary station. And primary station always sends command and secondary station always responses, response, responses. It gives responses. Then the third one we are having combined station. So now what is combined station? Combined as its name represents it means that it will act as both primary and secondary station. It will have both the commands like commands and responses. Both frames it will have. So this was about the primary, secondary and combined station. Now let's come to the frame format of HDLC. This diagram represents the frame format of HDLC. First we will have the flag. It will be 8 bit. Consisted of 8 bit. Then after that address it will be of 8 bits again. Then control. Control it can be of 8 or 16 bits. Then about the information. Information can be of the variable length depending upon the requirement of the client. Then we are having the CRC. CRC means that cyclic redundancy check actually this one is for the error checking error control then the last we will have again the flag and the flag will be consisted of 8 bits again so we can see that at the starting end and the ending end we will have the flags of 8 bits 
now the address address it will be the address of the source and the destination then the control control why the why there is a need of control here in the frame format of htlc it will control which frame has to be sent like i frame s frame u frame what is i frame i frame means that information frame and it will all control field will have the zero bit if it is sending the information frame that is i frame then s frame s frame means that supervisory frame and it will have the 10 that is 10 bit in the control field if it is sending the s frame then u frame u frame is unnumbered frame and it will be controlled by the bits of 1 1 so then information we will have the information then the redundancy check then flag this is the whole frame format of hdlc then let's come to the transfer modes the transfer modes are normal response mode that is point to point and point to multi point we will have two types under this then the second one is asynchronous balanced mode a b m under this we will have the point to point transfer mode so let's discuss these transfer modes one by one so the first one is normal response mode nrm in nrm the first one is point to point point to point means that we will have one client means one workstation on the sender side and one workstation or system on the secondary station that will be on the receiver side the primary station it will send the command and the secondary station it will response back so this is the point to point normal response mode transfer then let's come to the second that is point to multi point multi point means that on the receiver side there can be multiple secondary stations to respond back to the primary station which is sending the command to secondary stations so this is point to multi point these are the two categories under normal response mode so the next is asynchronous balanced mode under this we are having point to point here the workstation can act as both primary and secondary stations depending upon the requirement so if we are saying that the workstation will act as both like primary and secondary station it means that they can they can issue any frame like command or response so this is a b m so these are the categories of transfer modes under hdlc let's move to the next slide that is mcqs we are having so the first question is hdlc stands for what so this is very basic question but very important question for competitive exams so hdlc stands for what the option number 2 high level data link control the option number 2 is the correct answer so let's study the second question the hdlc is this is the question from previous year exams also from the ugc net paper hdlc is so what is the correct answer the option number 3 that is both a and b thank you so much